be to God. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to learn at your feet once again. Lord, as we go into your word this time, we pray that you will speak to our hearts. Bless us through your words. And at the end of our race, please help us to reign with you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Welcome to another episode of Bible Lessons as we study together this morning. The heights of your understanding will be opened in the name of Jesus. Bible lessons, an opportunity for us to dig deep into the word of God and gain some insight that can keep us running. So if you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, please do so. And please remember to click on the notification button so that you can get notification whenever we upload a new video. In this episode, we are looking at the book of John chapter 1 verse 1. This is what we have been considering for the past two weeks now. And today, we might round up on this. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In the previous uh, episode, we looked at Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. And we say in the beginning, God created. God did something in the beginning. Now, in the beginning, there was something, and that thing is the word. The, the beginning was the word, which means in the beginning, the word was there. The word was available in the beginning. The word is not a product of any scientific invention. The word is not something that came afterwards. The word was there in the beginning. The word was there before the world came into being. The word was there before you can think of anything. The word was there before even you came. So the word came before you. The word came before your problem. The word came before your challenges. The word came before the worldly system. There are times that you want to settle for what came recently. But the ancient of days, the word himself, (laughs) came before whatever you want to settle for. There are easy things. There are things that can give you quick answer. But they they came after the word. The word is the one that has been, that it's still in existence. And we be forever. So the word has no you can't you can't you can't calculate the value. You know, when you buy a car after some years, you calculate the depreciation value and then um, all that. The accountants will understand this. But the word, no matter what you get out of the word, it still remains the way the word is. The word in the beginning was the word. In the beginning was the word. Before the creation of the universe was the word. <laughs> Where you are looking up to for a solution determines the kind of solution you will get. Whatever you get from the word has the ability to defeat anything in the world. Because the word came before the world. You are being carried away by the affairs of this word because of your disconnection from the word. And the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. That's an influence. That's connection. The word was with God. <laughs> the Bible says one with God is more than the majority. The word was with God. What is with God has the ability to take away every negative thing that is with you. You have attached yourself to so many things because the word is not with you. The word was with God. Even when the word is going out to perform certain things, it means God is there. 
it implies that wherever you can see the word, God's presence is always is also there. The word was with God. What is with God has the capacity to deal with that which is with you. The word was with God. And the word was God. You cannot separate the word from God. You cannot separate the word from God. The word was with God. You can see coordination here. You can see order here. You can see togetherness here. When you, things are not in agreement, in, in, when, when life is not coordinated, what you need is the word. Your contact with the word will give meaning to your life. Your contact with the word will bring balance into your life. Your contact with the word will bring coordination to your life. When you have full contact with the word, as it's balancing your career, it's balancing your family, it's balancing... The word, the word will not give you what you are looking for alone. The word will give you what you need. Why? Because the word was in the beginning. The word can see what you cannot see. The word can see where you are going. The word can see your hand even from the beginning. So when you allow the word to take its full course in your life, struggle will reduce. That is why he said, when you come to me, he said you will find the rest. When you come to the word, you will find the rest. And let me just tell you in a simple term, Jesus is the word. Yes, Jesus Christ is the word. He was in the beginning. He was with God and is God. You cannot separate him from God. When you have Jesus, you have the word. Then you are no longer going to be a victim in the world. The Bible said the prince of this world came and found nothing in him. That's in Christ. So the word is finding so many things in you because you lack the word of God. You lack Jesus. The presence of Jesus is no longer in you. You only pick the word part time and you drop the word at any other time. The word supposed to abide with you because you are created in the image of God. The Bible says the word was with God. Now you are created in the image of God. So you have the capacity to retain the word. When you retain the word, you will gain what people are running after. When you retain the word, you will regain your freedom. When Whatever it seems you have lost in the past, all you just need to do is to retain the word. If the family is not stable, retain the word. If finances, your finance is, is in shambles, is, is, is not in order, retain the word. The Bible says, since these people cannot retain God in their knowledge, it gave them to a reprobate mind to do things that are not convenient. If you see yourself doing things that are not convenient, all you just need to do is to retain the word, retain Jesus. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run into it and they are safe. If you run into the word, safety is in the word. The word was in the beginning. The word was with God. The word was God. What you need in this world is in the word. Your sustenance in this world is in the word. Your capacity to fulfill God's giving destiny is in the word. Why not go to the word? Surrender yourself. Give it all to the word. And let the word give meaning to your life. Let the word give form, shape into your life, into your career, 
It might not come when you are expecting it, but it will surely come. You are listening to me and you have no connection with the word. You have no connection with Jesus. This is the time to surrender to Jesus. It looks so simple. You, at times we prefer to do the hard things. And the result you are getting from doing the hard things is nothing to be compared with what you will get by just surrendering yourself to Jesus. I said it's easy because you are not the one that will do it. The power to do what comes after surrendering your life to Jesus will come from Jesus. Imagine. Somebody say, come and walk with me. I will give you accommodation, give you, I will pay your bill, do all these things for you. In fact, I will do the work for you. All you just need is be available. You want to surrender your life to Jesus? Ask God to come into your life. Ask God to be your Lord and Savior. Tell him that you are ready for him. Tell him that you, uh, you, hand, uh, you, you, you just surrender everything. You hand over everything unto him. Tell him to be your Lord and your Savior. I congratulate you if you have said these words of prayer. Father, I thank you for your words that you've sent to us this time. I pray that, Lord, let your word come into our life. Let the word of God fill our hearts. Let us, O oh God, be guided by your word in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. God bless you for listening.